I'll give you one example. Now I'm you're gonna feel some pain when I tell you this, <laughs> like that. But but you should know this though, because otherwise you go buy expensive stuff out there. It doesn't work for you, you know. Like astaxanthin. Everybody know astaxanthin. Like that is good for it's good for you. Oh, like that. Astaxanthin has this side here, OH group here, another OH group here. So it's a double-headed thing. So that is a good antioxidant. Uh -huh. However, astaxanthin on the other end here has exactly the same thing here. So therefore, if you have a phospholipid, water-soluble and lipid-soluble, how are you going to expect, think of this as a two-headed snake, a snake in the head, and the snake in the tail. So if you have astaxanthin, this astaxanthin would work like this. It will come out sticking out like that. This is as awkward as it's ever going to be because all the phospholipids are like this. If you, how about for the moment you don't believe me? You go on a textbook and just Google and ask what a cell wall look like. Then you can see how is this monkey going to get into the phospholipid? It won't go in there. So therefore, do not take things that does not fit. It really doesn't fit. It has to be like this. So I, I usually tell people that an antioxidant that work, they look like a sperm or a tadpole where the head is like this sticking out and this thing sticks in like that. Now, in the back of me, I'm going to go away now. In the back of me here, I, I want the audience to see this. Okay, that is a CoQ10 molecule. I'll take this away. See that? Yeah. Uh, on the CoQ10 molecule, on the other end, that's the antioxidant. It sticks out and this big long long tail sticks into the phospholipid so when our body make coq10 it stay there it is its permanent residence it usually never moves from there huh. and also if you take supplemental coq10 i'm telling tell you everybody and their grandmother again you will say the coq10 is 200 times more bioavailable 300 times more bioavailable making you to buy their product essentially you know why they do that they do that because they never tell you this and probably they some don't know coq10 is such an albatross it is very hard to absorb in the body just look at the darn thing it's like yeah, an albatross, huge. you know so and and then when you go into the blood that's only in the blood this this guy is supposed to be in the cell so the best way to make coq10 is actually let the body make coq10 probably evolutionary Ben, our body don't depend on external CoQ10 because it's very difficult for this very good molecule to be gotten from the outside. 